Hey guys, welcome to Wrestling Days and welcome to this massive announcement. It is that time of year. We are building towards WrestleMania and a big part of WrestleMania is the Hall of Fame. Uh, it happens every single year. It's normally uh, the night before WrestleMania. Um, or is it two nights before WrestleMania? It's WrestleMania weekend anyway. Um, and they normally induct things like six or seven uh, people into the Hall of Fame. Big rumours all year that it was going to be Undertaker that was going to headline this year's class. Um, and that's obviously a big honour. Not only are you going in, but you're like the marquee name. And uh, Undertaker would make sense because last year he seemingly retired. You know, he left his hat in the ring, he left his jacket in the ring, and it seemed like that was his last match last year's WrestleMania. His loss to Roman Reigns, um, it, it seemed to be it. It seemed to be done. But it doesn't look like that's the case because there's big rumours that Undertaker is going to face John Cena at this year's WrestleMania. I'm very intrigued as to how they're going to tell this story. Um, and will this be Undertaker's last match, if it even happens at all? Well, there's another indicator that Undertaker might not be finished, because the first inductee into this year's Hall of Fame has been announced, and it is not The Undertaker. It is a massive name, but it is not The Dead Man, and it is Goldberg. Goldberg is the first name, the first person going into the Hall of Fame. That is a marquee name. Uh, so I, I just don't see any way that they're going to put The Undertaker in this year because Goldberg's not going to play second fiddle to The Undertaker. You know, uh, Goldberg is the marquee name. He is the first announcement. So I think that indicates that Undertaker is not done. And I think that means that we will get an Undertaker match at WrestleMania this year. We're a step closer to Undertaker John Cena. Which I think would be an awesome match. It's a match I want to see. I would rather undertake a Finn Balor, but hey-ho. Um, but yeah, Goldberg more than deserving. More than deserving. One of the big names, if not the biggest name in WCW towards the end. Certainly around, you know, when he was in the middle of his undefeated streak. He had one of the best undefeated streaks ever in wrestling. I think it was like a 100... And 76 or no. He like had matches against 176 people and didn't lose. Now Asuka has actually beaten that record. But oh, it's not quite the same. I mean Asuka's done it down in NXT. You know she's facing people that are good. Great. You know Ember Moon and whatnot. But it's not really the same as Goldberg doing it in WCW on the main roster. Facing some of the best wrestlers in the world i mean that streak uh even includes hulk hogan uh, you know um because obviously goldberg uh won the world heavyweight championship he's won the universal title as well he's a wcw tag team champion his partner being bret hart um he's really achieved loads uh he really was one of the big names in the 90s and then he came back and was one of the biggest names recently as well. So he definitely deserves his place in the Hall of Fame. But uh, to be honest, I'm more excited about the fact it's not Undertaker. I think that's I think that's as big uh, when it comes to this news. Um, other people I'd like to see go in, of course, the British Bulldog. Davey Boy Smith deserves to go into that Hall of Fame. I'd love to see him go in. Uh, I'd love to see Vader. Why is Big Van Vader not in there? Big Van Vader wrestled with WCW, wrestled with WWF, is a former IWGP heavyweight champion. I mean, what else does this man need to do to get into the Hall of Fame? So Vader needs to go in. Talking of Japan, I'd love to see the great Muta go in as well. Uh, I think that he's done a lot for wrestling. Not a great deal with WWE, WWF, but... He, he did a lot with WCW and obviously WWE own all of that now. So he deserves to go in uh, for that reason. I mean, Sting didn't do a lot with WWE, but he still went in uh, because of what he achieved in WCW. So I think the great Muta deserves to go in. Davey Boy Smith, 
Big Van Vader. Um, I would put in Bull Nakano. I think Bull Nakano was a massive player when it come, came to like women's wrestling in the 90s. I would love to see Bull Nakano go in. Um, I'm sure there's like a million more, uh, but I just wanted to give you my initial thoughts. So obviously, you know, big congratulations to Bill Goldberg. It is more than deserved. Uh, what does this mean for The Undertaker? Let me know your thoughts uh, below. Who else should go into the class this year? Uh, that's quite an interesting conversation. Let me know below in the comments. If you enjoyed this video, then give it a like, hit the subscribe, all of that good stuff. And hopefully I'll see you again next time. Bye for now.